A dispatch is based on a book, uh, based on a true story about a police officer in Connecticut. And um, I love the story. I love the heart of the man. I love what he's done. Well, I've worked with, uh, with, with Jason and JC Films quite a bit. And listen, I, I'm a reserve police officer in real life. And I have tremendous respect for our men and women in uniform and people who serve. And so anytime I can do something that, that shines a light on uh, a positive story, especially involving law enforcement, I'd love to be a part of it. We do a lot of uh, faith-based productions here with, with JC Films. Uh, and uh, sometimes uh, they're maybe not so overtly faith-based, but they have uh, a message that's good. He has a burden for people that have broke the law. The, the story that he tells throughout the book was just kind of echoed and what we could do here in Bridgeport and bring that story here. Uh, the chief of police here, the Bridgeport Police Department said, hey, you know, if it's something that's gonna put a, a positive light on law enforcement, we're for it, we're gonna do it. Uh, so they stood behind us and they made it happen for us. When I heard his story, um, my mind just went to, this guy's got a book. And at the same time, I was thinking, I see a movie here and I wanted to run that by the book publisher. And he thought it was a great idea. So I went, that's when I went back to Carl and said, I don't think you just have a book here. I think we can move forward on a movie and we've got the connections. It's, it's pretty amazing. And the fact that it's about my story, it just makes it very surreal. It's not about me. It's really about God. The message is that God is still alive and that he's able to if he can change my life, he can change anybody's life. You know, I really hope this film just reaches as many people as possible. I think that this is a great story, and I think the effects on it can really create that wave of change. Well, Carl's real story um, has a lot of layers to it. Um, if we take it at its basic level, we have a police officer dealing with post-traumatic stress disorder. Um, he had a lot of childhood issues with um, an angry parent. His father was angry. Um, he then served the country in the U.S. Special Forces and then uh, immediately started working for the police department right after getting out of the service. That led to him being a very effective cop, but also an angry one. Um, uh, that, all, that anger almost cost him his job with the police officer and actually being the opposite of what he was trying to do with helping others. However, through, through an, an experience where he found Christ, he actually uh, turned his life around, he turned his anger around, and he started helping the very people he was arresting and actually turning their lives around. So I think at the root, the story is about redemption. Well, right now we're in a weird, I, I would say kind of a strange crossroads with the way that the public views or and or the, the mainstream media views uh, law enforcement and I think that's unfortunate you know these are men and women who put their lives on the line every single day I want them to see these police officers as the human beings they are the the fragile uh, mistake prone human beings they are and they have to understand these are real people who really care about what they do uh, and and they do their best every single day and, and they're certainly not the enemy uh, it's, it's insane to me that they're sometimes depicted that way. Social media has done a great job of bringing kind of attention and awareness to the civilian side uh, between policing. Um, so I think the fact that we can bring awareness to like the police side and kind of show that, you know, you know the police aren't bad guys, they really are just trying to protect and serve, um, and that sometimes the scenarios and circumstances they're put in kind of get brought out of proportion and not really, you know, the whole story's not told. So. I think this is a good opportunity for us as a production team to be able to kind of show the whole story. We have to uh, get a new culture of how we view law enforcement. I'm hoping that we can get people of faith, we can get people in the community to uh, shed a light, a positive light on what law enforcement is, who they are, how hard they work, uh, why they do what they do every day. And if we can do that through this film, um, then it's a positive for us.